Do you have any computer, internet, or technology questions? Feel free to ask them at cleartechinfo.com. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, I will show you how to register for a free website at WordPress.com. I will also show you WordPress.com website beginner basics. Open up any internet browser. Then type in the browser address bar, WordPress.com. Then click either the sign up button or the sign up link up here. It doesn't matter which one you click, it'll go to the same place. In the previous tutorial within this series, I showed you how to choose a proper subject, title, and subdomain for a website. This is that article. Please read it if you have not already done so. Using that info, I just copied my information from cleartechinfo.com. So the account I will be creating the website will be an expert site and it's geared towards beginners to computers, internet, and technology. The title will be Beginner's Guide to Computers, Internet, and Technology. The subdomain will be cleartechinfo.com. So it will be cleartechinfo.wordpress.com. In the username section, choose whatever username you want to be known as. So I'll just choose Clear Tech Joy because I'm sure Joy is already taken. You can only use letters and numbers. And choose whichever password you want. Just make sure it's a decent password, not something like ABC123. Then enter a valid email address. For the purposes of this tutorial, I created a temporary email address. Make sure you enter a valid email address. WordPress.com will send you an activation email that will activate and unlock your website. If you do not receive that email and send it to another email address that's not yours, you'll never get that. And you'll never be able to activate it and unlock your website. Make sure you read this. Make sure this is selected. Click next. The blog domain. I choose clear take info. The blog title you could change the title at any time but this will be in stone so just make sure you have something you like it's always good to be short and sweet and not some long 20 30 character um, subdomain name so make sure it's short and sweet. And what language will your website primarily be in? Make sure this is also checked. Unless you want to have a private website, which you don't really want that many people to visit. Click sign up. In case you get a different screen, and actually it just goes back to the same screen we were at. That is mainly the message when you entered something wrong or if you chose a subdomain that was already taken. So if you chose a subdomain that was already taken, you have to enter another one that is not taken. 
here you can enter some personal info. Feel free to enter what you want in the about yourself column. But just remember that everybody will be able to see this. Now you have to go and click the link in the registration email that was sent to you. When you check your inbox, you receive a similar email from WordPress.com. All you have to do is just click the link right here and your free website will be activated. Now you just have to log in. The username you chose. and your password. I will quickly explain some of the features and settings. Under settings, in general, this is where you input your blog title. This is a tagline. This is sort of an, another expansion of your blog title or what your blog's about. I already inputted here beginner's guide to computers, internet, and technology. I also will offer free computer help on this website. This is your time zone. I'm in UTC negative seven, but input whatever time zone you are in. This is the date format to be displayed. I'll just leave it as the default, but you could choose whatever you want. When you're done, click save changes. And here's another setting I want to show you. Click users. If somebody will be helping you on your website to add them, you just need to click add new, enter their info, and then set the role. Administrator will have full access just like you. So I wouldn't advise giving anybody administrator access unless they know more about websites and you're a beginner and they're building the website for you. You click editor, author, or contributor. The further down you go, the less rights they have. Just note that. Go to your profile. You could change your gravatar, which is really an avatar and put up whatever picture you want so whenever you go on somebody else's WordPress site which there are thousands and thousands if not millions of WordPress websites out there your little avatar would go on there if you comment on their blog or website here are different settings you can use and then just click update profile when you're done For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.